Hey guys. Okay, so today I wanted to show you something that has definitely been a hit on my Pinterest, and that is cork crafts. So I made a bunch of trivets, and I wanted to do a quick little DIY on how easy it is to make trivets. And uh, here it is, so I've kind of laid it out. I made some cell phone cases as well. There's really no trick to how you do this other than get your design down, be patient, and you have to let it sit. That is the only trick. So what I'm using is wood glue, and it's best if you get one like this. Um, it's easy to pop up, so you can just squeeze and apply. If you run low, uh, like this one, this is my old one, and I don't wanna use it today for the demo, but you could squeeze it on a plate and use like a pl paper plate and use a plastic knife, so you could just chuck it, get rid of it. Now the key is don't use a ton of glue, just a little bit goes along, not just a little bit, but just kind of like, you'll see. Um, I glued these guys, now these are rubber corks. If you're using rubber, it works as well. So FYI there. This batch here is gonna become a cell phone, cell phone stand holder, or whatever you wanna call it for your desk. But um, I glued these last night because what you need to do is let them sit so the glue dries so you can layer because a cell phone stand ends up looking like this okay and in order to do something like this all of these have to be dried so you kind of do it in stages you'll do the bottom layer and then when this is a little bit dry a couple of hours from now then you'll do the next step now I use a box for something along this line or cardboard, something to prop it so when you glue it, it can be supported in the back. Because the problem with these things is um, it's difficult, you know, with gravity and all. So it's easy if you kind of do this kind of a thing where you prop it along the box. Be careful with your surface. I'm using my dining room table. And the best thing to do, honestly, is get a tablecloth like this. I have an old sheet that I paint on, do all my crafts on, it's a total mess. But also get a cookie sheet with parchment paper. Because once you put these guys on there and start gluing, trust me when I tell you, it doesn't matter how little glue you use, it'll stick to your covering and sometimes it can break through. I had a little whoopsie where a little too much glue was used and this part of my table is wood, so it almost ruined it. I caught it in time, but I will go ahead and get, before I get started and kind of fast forward this, I will get a cookie sheet so I can show you. But here's what I've already done. So I've outlined my trivet. Now this is like one giant one and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a table size trivet, but I've decided I'm actually gonna go and make two. So I'm gonna separate these out. But I do wanna show you that it's super important to come up with your design before you think about gluing. Don't just say, oh, I'm gonna design as I glue. It's so much harder that way because corks are all different lengths whoop, and they are different widths. So when you're making an intricate design like mine, this kind of a zigzag pattern, you have to make sure that they're gonna butt up correctly and you're gonna have to shift things around. So one of the best ways to do this is to get all the corks that are the same size into piles. So these are all the same brand of wine. Now I'm gonna make, since these are rubber corks, I can't use them for heat trivets. You can't put food on top of them because it's rubber, but on top of cork, it's totally fine. It's, it, it insulates the heat. But I thought, you know, what a fun little way to maybe make uh, coasters that are, you know, like that. And I can use them outside because they're rubber, who cares? So here is how you would do a zigzag pattern. So I wanted to show you with these. You start with your corks and you decide how long you wanna go, how wide you wanna go, so how many rows and how many columns. And you sort of just kind of stagger them to the side. And if you notice, there's a spot for the next one. So the next cork that goes, goes this way. Push this one out a little, next one goes that way. The idea is for them to butt up against each other. So when you're gluing them, so you push this one out, that one goes, whoop, I goofed that up, hang on. It goes like that. 
Okay, so there you go. And then you do the same exact thing this way. So you just keep on going until, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, sorry. I added an extra row, I'm like, well, where's my other cork? Um, until you decide that you've had enough, however many layers you wanna go, figure it out and make it happen whichever way you like it. Okay, so this is a three by, this is a four, four, four. I'm challenged today. So it's three this way, four this way. Play with it until you like the design you come up with. You can do whatever you want. You could keep it simple. Like if you wanna do just a um, couple of, whatchamacallit, coasters, it is super important that for your coasters, you have all the corks of the same height, thickness, or your glass is gonna teeter. So look at how cute that is. This is just a quick, easy coaster. Everything's the same style, size, and you can put your glass on top of there. Now, another reason you wanna lay them out is that corks have designs, they have writing, so you want it to look pretty. And when you lay it out before gluing, then you can decide, oh, you know what? I want everything facing this way, that way. And you kind of get a little fun design going. So that's exactly what I'm doing with this one. I want to use, I'm actually out of the M corks. So I'm going to go ahead and use the sunshines. Actually, you know what? I'll put the M's in the middle. So there's a bit, little bit of uniformity. And then I'll use all of the solar on the ends. So see how cute that is? That is why you play with it. But if you get into a complicated pattern, like these guys, more important than ever to make sure that all of your corks are the same, like definitely pair them or section them into widths, into, I mean, yeah, into the thickness and into length, because it is gonna matter how you set them up and when you go to glue, if you have a cork that doesn't fit, it doesn't fill your gap, then it's not gonna fit the one next to it and then you'll have problems. So play with it until you get the right design and then, only then, get gluing. So I'm gonna show you here how easy it is to glue. Again, this is gonna be a two-step process because you have to wait. So for instance, this, this little coaster, what I would do, these are rubber corks, I'll put, that much glue on it and I will go like that see how it's, it's oozing out the side that's okay now I'm going to stick them like this and let them stand this is going to be like that for about an hour or so same thing here and I got my design aligned now my glue dries clear so that's fine but see how the glue runs trust me when I tell you use a cookie sheet and parchment paper, your best friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that as well. Now these, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and get started on these as well and glue the sides. So this would be just like that. Glue it, get the next one. Now I'm holding this up just so I could show you, but you wanna do this laying down. You want them all laying down next to each other on top of a cookie sheet. I better go do this now, because you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna glue the table together again. And then my husband's gonna have a freak out. Thank God I'm over the glass though, because you could scrape the glue off the glass, but not the wood. Okay, so hang tight. Through the magic of camera, here I am. Okay, cookie sheet, parchment paper. This way, no guilt, no mess, no fuss. And start with this so you don't have to move things and have them fall apart. Okay, so there's that. And there are my other ones and this one's oozing. So I'll go ahead and wipe that because I don't want dried glue and like a chunk of glue because then it becomes thick and weird. Ta-da! Now this is gonna go ahead and sit here. So I'm gonna leave it here. It doesn't matter if it falls, if it's standing upright, either way. Now it's on parchment paper. Let it be the way it wants to be. All right, and that's it. So for these, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you would glue 
a sideways one, but I'm not gonna do it with these ones because these are not yet assembled the way I want them. They're not perfect in size, so the design's gonna be wonky. So I decided, let's go ahead and do one of these. Okay, I have just put these together in a zigzag pattern, okay? And they are pretty, they're all the same height. These are rubber corks. So the way to glue these is you have three sides on some of them. So this one, you would put glue here and here so you can adhere to this cork and this cork, okay? That's why it's super important to lay them out because you have multiple sides that you have to glue together. Okay, so let's start with this corner and I'm gonna take the cork next to it and just glue right there. So it's just that one, okay? I'm moving it off to the side a little bit. Then I'm taking the next one in line. Now I have to put glue here, here, so it'll adhere to both of these corks. So a little bit here. There it goes. All right. And that is what you keep doing. So what I would suggest is kind of do them in sections so you don't end up missing glue. Now this guy needs to glue on one side and you don't end up gluing yourself and it gets a little hairy and too much. And all you wanna do is butt them together. Okay, so you see how this is coming together? Easy peasy, but it takes a little bit of coordination. Simple as that. I am almost done with this one. That is it. So this is a little zigzag pattern, four, 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 three. Again, all the same width, all the same length. So this becomes an easy um, and balanced. I wanna keep saying trivet. I'm not using this one as a trivet, but if we, if we were a trivet, because these are rubber cords, this is gonna be a coaster. Um, so that's the trick. 
Okay, take your time, let it dry. And you notice I have this one on the tablecloth. So what I'm gonna do is take a piece of paper and just slide it underneath. Apart, there's n it's no big deal. That's why I say prepare your layout and all of your materials before you get gluing. Makes your life so much easier. Okay, that is it, folks. This is my little craft DIY. Keep drinking, keep enjoying life, and then use your forks for some fun crafts that you can use around your house. You can give us gifts, they are a hit. So try it out, I think you're gonna love it. But this is it, this is the DIY. See you next time.